Okay, so hi guys, it's Miss Lollipop, and welcome back to another episode of The Sims 4 Get Famous. You're 
said I was the only one No one likes being like to You made this mess and left me with the pieces Now I wanna burn all the bridges between us So today we are back with Yuki and Vanessa and uh, congratulations to Yuki. She has now just become a B-lister, so she's currently at the third level in her celebrity goal. Um, so she can now comp- confidently sell- call herself a B-lister. As a three-star celebrity, she can now give hugs to or take selfies with her fans. Unfortunately, paparazzi has started to take an interest in her day-to-day life, so watch out for them when she's out in public. Thankfully, there is a way to retain some privacy. Um, Yuki can use a mirror to apply a celebrity disguise which will allow her to freely walk among the dim- general public. So we need to go ahead and grab her some, um, you know, some of her things that she needs. So she's got the option of giving back. Yuki's good reputation has helped her to establish she can now donate various objects from her home um, to her legion of fans. That sounds like something Yuki would do. Um, or we've got this one, which you can be able to pull on all night out when tired, giving them a massive boost in energy when she needs to keep going. That'll come in handy for the 24-hour celebrity streams she can now host on the station. Okay, I think that one's definitely going to be it. This one, um, she receives helpful potions in the mail. I think we're going to do these two. These are definitely more around Yuki sort of style, so we'll go ahead and do that. And I think we can go ahead and try out the 24-hour, um... You know, so, uh, stream um, in this episode, which I think will be really cool. Um, so baby Elliot is just currently in... Oh my god, what is going on with your arm? She's possessed, okay. She's fine now. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. Okay, let's go and... Um, oh yeah, your power has been set off. We need to go ahead and pay her bills. And then we can go ahead and reply to a few more of her comments as well. She's gaining more followers because we're having her stream. Um, and then let's go and record. Um, maybe we should go and grab some food and then start the celebrity, uh, start the 24 hour stream. Let's go and grab some food. So you would have seen in the start of this episode that we actually gave Vanessa a little makeover and I love her so, so much. I'm really impressed with how she came out or how she turned out. I really like her toned down styles now that she's become a mum. Okay, Vanessa, she is like such a cutie. She's, you know, so cool, so edgy. So I did still keep her with the ombre colour because she always did have a weird colour in terms of her hair. Um, but I've made it so that it goes down from a, a brown to a pink. Uh, and obviously she must have got that inspired from that uh, by Yuki with her pink hair um but i really really like the look that she's going for here and i'm impressed with it so that's all good uh we also need to have her um check for some open auditions to see if we can go ahead and do that so we cancel the gig that she's currently in because apparently she is in one and then we go ahead and see if we can find her a new one hopefully there is something good for her to take um, so we want to take the most amount of money, which I think will be either the herbs or critters. Let's take the herbs for the comedy skill. And currently our comedy skill is at level two, so we need to go ahead and work on that. So if we head up to the um, computer up here, she can go ahead and write some jokes. Um, write jokes to improve her comedy skill. And Yuki can head upstairs and start working on her 24 hour stream. She's just sitting here listening to a bit of music downstairs while her stream is going on. I think she's letting everybody know that she's actually going to be starting her 24 hour stream soon. So let's go ahead and end the stream on the um, drone. And let's go ahead and start the 24 hour stream. Oh, I'm so excited for her. So um, I think it must be quite cold in here because... It must be quite cold in here because she is wearing her outerwear, I'm pretty sure. So we can go ahead and get her changed into her everyday wear. What should she wear on her stream today? Hmm. I always like this outfit. But I think I make her wear it too much. Maybe this outfit because we don't really see that outfit too much. So we'll have her do that. Um, and then we'll head upstairs and we will start the 24-hour stream. She's going and getting herself ready. Look how cute she is. Oh, my God. Oh, and I love Vanessa. I love Vanessa's new look as well. She's, she's looking uh-huh. mighty fine. Um, so we were talking about, um, in the last episode, we were talking about whether we were going to have one of them, uh, sorry, my phone keeps going off. Um, yeah, we were talking about whether we were going to have one of them, 
um, actually become a surrogate and who would be the father. So a lot of you thought um, that we would have um, either Vanessa or Yuki. It was kind of a stalemate. A lot of you guys said that, um, you know, Vanessa should. A lot of you guys said that Yuki would um, carry the child, I mean. So I want you guys to know who you think should carry the child. And you guys suggested that Daniel should be the surrogate, um, should be the, um, the donator. Um, so I think that's a really good idea. I think we're going to go ahead and do that in this episode. Um, or sorry, not in this episode, in the next episode. So, um, in three, three episodes time, or technically two, so it'll be, um, next it'll be Daniel's story, and then it'll be going back to Alea and Zayden, and then after that we'll come back to Yuki and Vanessa. Um, so after that we'll go ahead and, um... We'll go ahead and get your verdict. So there's going to be a poll in the right-hand side of the screen right now for you to click. So um, Daniel is going to be the um, the donator of, you know, sperm. Um, so who would you guys prefer to carry the child or children? We don't know how many it will be um, because obviously they will be artificially inseminated. Do you think it should be Vanessa or do you think it would be Yuki? I want to go ahead and... Um, give you guys the option to choose so you know you get to choose who's going to be carrying the baby and I know Elliot is currently only um, a baby but he is actually aging up um, I think pretty soon um, he should be aging up here but I'm going to actually go ahead and age him up in this episode um, just because my lifespan is actually on long because I like to have my sims for as long as possible um, okay so let's have um, Vanessa come over here and actually look after baby Elliot because he is crying and then we'll go back to writing the jokes just kind of get everything done today I want to be like super productive with them because normally it's always about story with these guys um, and I wanted to you know spend a bit of time getting some stuff done especially with um, Yuki's like YouTube and her you know online stuff so in terms of her celebrity level it isn't going up too fast um, but it's doing it's doing okay so for the moment she's all good in terms of her needs she might need a toilet break in a little while but She's doing good. I'm pretty sure she can take like an hour or two hour break and then she has to go back to it and resume it. Um, so we, we need to make sure that she doesn't, you know, leave it. Um, but uh, what's going on here? Feeling adventurous. This seems like they can take on the world. Oh, that's so good. Uh, she's got credit obviously coming out. Pretty tasty. Um, her dad just turned up. Lovely. Um, she gets her menstrual cycle in 12 days. Um, she is creatively talented. We always knew that Yuki would be creatively talented, didn't we? Um, and then we've got, um, we've got Vanessa. Is she, is she, like, talented in anything that we have found out? Well, she loves romantic sims, but we don't really know anything else about her. Um, what about Yuki? What is she like? She loves charismatic sims, and she is, um, creatively talented as well. So she's just sitting here on the stream talking to her dad. Her dad's just, like, walked in and said hello. Um, I suppose he didn't really mind being on, um, being on the stream either, so he's just sitting here talking to her. Let's go and discuss her interests with her dad. Be nice if we could bring Vanessa onto one of the streams at some point. Actually, I think she is talking in the background of the stream, so she's still doing her thing. She actually needs to quickly go and use the toilet, so let's go and pee like a champion. Um, and she wants to get a promotion, so if she does well at work, or if she manages to get the audition, actually, um, then hopefully she will get a promotion. I'm going to go ahead and play a bit of um, Get Famous off of camera because um, the whole process of this is going pretty slowly. Um, we we haven't, um, you know, been pushing enough to get them. Um, I'm just trying to find where right jokes is, but it just doesn't seem to be on here. Um, maybe it's research. Can we research? No. She could research in parenting tips, though. Well, to be honest, we need to get her, her you know, thing up. Uh, maybe... Mm -mm -mm. Why isn't Right Jokes on there anymore? Comedy. Right Jokes, there we go. Yeah, so, um, I'm gonna play a little bit of, uh, Get Famous off of camera, just because, um, I wanna get a lot done with these guys. I wanna get them up to a higher level of, um, celebrity. So I will record when they cross over into one level to another so that we do actually get the little notification and you guys can see that. Um, but I am gonna go ahead and play it off camera and also have a layer, you know, like go to work and stuff like that. Um, because a lot of the time where we're swapping between households, we don't get a lot of time to concentrate on these guys and, you know, um, we don't get a lot of time to, um, just generally focus on them, you know, like, we, we don't have enough time to go to work with them, it's all about the story in this series. So I would like to focus on that a little bit more. Um, so she's taken a break and she has two hours. So let's go ahead and quickly use the toilet. 
and then we can head on over and resume the stream. So she's only got two hours that she can be off the stream for before it cancels. So let's go and quickly go use the toilet. And then we can come back and resume the stream. Just a little quick pee break as she's taking here, just enjoying her time. Um, she's not very hungry so far, so she's doing all well now. So we won't need to worry about that. Um, how about we come over here and we just um, express our admiration for Yuki. Maybe be a little bit flirty on, uh, on the string that she's on. We'll go ahead and flirt with her a little bit just on the stream. So she's feeling pretty attractive. So we'll just go over there and join her on the stream. I hope she won't mind if we just take a seat um, and just sit here and talk to her while her stream's on. I mean, I'm sure she's probably getting pretty tired by now anyway. So she's been streaming for how many hours? I don't know what, I can't remember what time she started this. I don't know, quite a few hours at least. It must have been a, at least 10 by now. So, um, basically, I wanted to go ahead and get these guys engaged. So, I don't know how it's going to work out. Um, but I think on Easter, we're going to go ahead and get them engaged. And then, as long as both of them say yes, I want to go ahead and, on love day, have them actually get married. As long as... Well, even if one of them are pregnant, you know, we can have them get married in their wedding dresses. So I feel like Yuki, I don't know, should we have both of them wear the wedding dresses? I need, I need your guys' answer on that as well. Do you think both of them should wear the wedding dress or do you think one of them should wear a suit um, and one wears a wedding dress? I don't, like, what do you guys think? Do you think both of them should wear the wedding dress to their own wedding? I mean, they're, they're definitely going to get married. I mean, like, these guys are so in love. I feel like they just, they just couldn't not, you know, couldn't not get married. Um, but I want to know what you guys think is going to happen at the wedding. So we'll go ahead and spin on. Um, and then once Yuki starts getting a little bit tired, we might have a go take a break and have a nap. And I'll go ahead and meet you guys in just a second. Okay, so I think it's time for Yuki to take a break. So we're going to quickly scoot on off. Uh, we're going to go and grab a little bit of food. So let's go and grab a quick snack. Um, we'll go. She has two hours. Okay. Grab a quick meal of some cereal. So she has, um, basically she needs to be back by five o'clock. Um, no, by six o'clock. Well, just before six o'clock. Okay, so let's quickly go grab some food and we'll take a nap on the um, on the sofa out here once she's finished, if we have enough time that is. Um, because she's getting really, really tired. I hope she's gonna make it, um, you know, all the way through to it. So we'll take a few bites of the cereal. We don't need to be full. Um, but just enough to last. There we go. And then they're getting restless as they wait for her return. She has one hour left. Okay, quick. Go, go. Go nap. She can nap for 30 minutes. Good job. Okay, you're doing great. Okay, and then at half past. Wait, no! Took too long. <gasps> no! I'm so sad. Oh my god. But it, you said you, I had an hour and it was only, it, it only gone 25 minutes. You said I had an hour. Oh, I'm so upset. We've done so well. We only needed to survive like another 10 hours or so and we was going to do it. Oh, <sighs> whatever. Okay, girl, let's go and um, let's go and uh, head on off to bed with um, Vanessa and we can see if we can try the charity stream another time. Um, at least she made it, you know, a fair way through. But unfortunately, they 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 conned us out of our out of our charity stream, and they said it was going to end when it you know really didn't. Um, but maybe next time I should have her get like a full night's rest and then um then have her do the charity stream. So maybe I should plan it out a little bit more next time. But I'll go ahead and skip until both of them wake up. Okay, so Vanessa has just woken up. She just goes herself some food, and Elliot is actually crying. So she's going to head on upstairs to look after him. Um, and then when Yuki wakes up a little bit later, because obviously she did do the 24 hour stream last night, which she didn't make it all the way through. Um, but when she wakes up, we're going to go ahead and age Elliot up into a toddler and see what he looks like and give him a little bit of a makeover and things. And I'm super excited to see what he looks like and, you know, what type of person he ages up into. So I'm really excited to see what goes on. I mean, this, like, family, they are one of my favourite families that we've got. So I always like to see, you know, what's going on with them. So she gave him a bit of a cuddle. Um, Vanessa does actually have to go at seven o'clock. So we want to make sure that we do this like earlier. Um, this, um, you know, this when we age up earlier um, so that we've got a bit of time. So Yuki just woke up. She's not fully rested, um, but she's going to go downstairs and grab a little bit of food. And she does actually have work today until 6 p.m. 
Um, so I'm going to have a work from home again just because she needs to get her skills up. So we'll go ahead and get Elliot aged up. Um, what's up Yuki? One of my friends heard about how great you are and has been asking to meet you. Can I give them your number? Um, is that... Is that in like a, like a romantic way or is that in a normal way? I'm going to go ahead and say yes. I'm hoping Alaya isn't going to be giving out our number to some random guy who's interested in us. I'm hoping it's just a guy or a girl who wants to meet us as friends. So we'll go ahead and give out our number and hopefully nothing bad happens. <laughs> I'm really hoping. Um, so Yuki also needs to go ahead and pay the bills as well. We've got rent of 7,000 simoleons. Let's go ahead and pay that. And apparently if she uploads a video about fishing, um, she will get paid more money. So maybe we'll go ahead and do that. So we need to go and uh, pay the bills. Can we turn the music off? It's so annoying when you guys just always turn the music on. We'll go ahead and sell that speaker if you keep turning the music on. Okay, what's Vanessa doing? See, the thing is, is why are they in... Why is she in... Oh, right, that's right. Because she wants to go and play snooker out in the cold. Okay, girl, well, you you, you do you. I mean, the, you know, there's a lot of fun things to do in the house, so I can appreciate what she's doing. But I think she's actually going to go over and talk to Yuki. She got a bit bored. So let's see what she's about to do. Yuki's getting a call. Um, Is that from the guy that, gave, that we gave her number? Wow, they're offering her to be a rank 5 actress. No, that's not for Yuki. Yuki's not an actress, okay? She's she's real, as real as it gets. Oh my god, she's actually got a really good singing voice. Um, Yeah, I don't think that that is that is for Yuki. I don't think... I think she'll leave that to Vanessa and Alea. We've got more than enough actresses in this town. Um, to suffice, so that's good. And Selena Gomez um, just um, messaged us. So that was actually Akiro um, who got given our number. So where is he, the guy who got our number? I don't know. Well, I can't actually see him because obviously Akiro is our dad. Passive parent, a neutral relationship and little discipline. Hmm, okay. Right, let's come over and look after him. So I'm going to have Vanessa come and sit down in the rocking chair. So we can all be here when we age up little baby Elliot. So we'll have her head on up here as well so we could all be there. And then let's go ahead and get little baby... Oh my god, my eye keeps switching. Let's go ahead and get baby Elliot aged up. Oh my god, I'm so excited to see what he looks like. Oh, look at him! Oh my god, he's so cute! He has such white hair and such dark skin. Oh, he's the sweetest little thing ever. Oh my god, I can't wait to see what he looks like. Okay, this is little baby Elliot. We're going to take him into Creator Sim in just a second. Um, so these guys are super happy because of his birthday. So let's go ahead and take him into Creator Sim and see what he looks like. Okay, so this is baby Elliot and he is literally the sweetest little thing ever. He has this bright white hair. Um, so... Uh, I think we're going to keep his hair, maybe not the same hairstyle, but we are going to keep it the same colour um, because he does have these really, really light eyebrows as well. Um, so we can go ahead and... Um, hold on. What did it do? Yeah, okay. So we're going to give him some really light eyebrows as well or maybe like brown. I don't know. We'll decide um, because he does have darker roots, but I think we're going to go ahead and keep that. Um, so in terms of his skin tone, he is a darker. So that is really nice to see. Um, and this is what he looks like. And he is really clingy. Oh my god. I can't wait to see what he's going to look like when he ages up. So let's go ahead and give him a quick uh, quick speed makeover. So I'll go ahead and see you guys in just a second. I just can't let you go. Lord knows that I've tried to. You said I was the only one. No one likes being like to You made this mess and left me with the pieces Now I wanna burn all the bridges between us
So there we go. So we've finished with Elliot. He is super cute. I didn't go ahead and change his eye his eyebrows because I'm gonna go ahead and leave them like they are um, and leave them quite light. But he is literally the sweetest thing ever. I also gave him, I'm not sure what the actual name of it is called because the thumbnail is now gone. But it's like spectorial heterochromia. Maybe, maybe it's something like that. I'm not too sure. Either way, it means that they've got specks in their eyes that aren't the same colour. So I think the idea is is that people with um brown eyes have got m more protein or they've got a protein in them that blue eyes haven't or something like that so um maybe that means that in that section there isn't as much protein as in the rest of the you know eye i know it's um a condition that can happen in real life and i thought it'd be really nice to put it onto elliot because obviously um he isn't biologically yuki and uh, vanessa's um, so I thought it would be a good way to sort of introduce that into the series because, um, you know, genetically, I mean, it is, I, I don't know if it's capable of, I don't know if you're capable of being able to get that um, if your family or if your mum and your dad both don't have it. Um, but because we don't know his his real mum and his dad, um, I think it would be a good way to introduce it into the series, if that makes sense. And I think he looks really cute with it anyway, so perfectly fine with me let me know if you guys are happy with that um and obviously you would have seen me making his little outfits he is the sweetest thing ever and i'm super happy with how he turned out okay so i'm gonna go ahead and end this episode of here because i do actually need to chip off sorry this episode was shorter than usual um but i do have a little you know a few things to do and i am anticipating we're doing a triple upload this weekend so i want to make sure i can get enough videos created for you that are good content so i'm gonna go ahead and end this episode of here so Go ahead and um, leave your results in the poll, which will be in the right-hand corner on the little eye, um, of who is going to be the carrier of the next baby that Yuki and Vanessa are going to have. And yeah, I think that's all I needed you guys to answer in this episode. Um, so I think that's everything from me. So as always, if you guys enjoy, go ahead and leave a like on the video. And if you've got any questions, leave them in the comment section below and I'll get around to them as soon as I can. And if you are new, it'd be awesome if you could subscribe because obviously it helps our little family grow. And if you just want to hit the little notification bell next to the subscribe button, you get notified every single time I upload, which means you'll never waste one of my uploads. And I think that's everything. So as always, I love you all and I'll speak to you in the next episode. Bye guys. I choke you down just like